Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a scorecard for a football or cricket uh, matches. Here you can see I have added two flags, which is for the Germany and Brazil. And I have given some statistics like goals, shots in targets, fouls, etc. And you can just add the numbers there. And on the top, I have given the scores also, which is 0-0. Zero, zero and when i click then the the focus lights or the flood lights will start switch on and switch off and likewise i have created a similar for the cricket i have used the gif files for the flag for the india and pakistan where you can add the scores as well as you can add a uh, statistics which is head to head how many played how many won lost or and what's the winning percentage etc so let's see how to create this template in powerpoint add a new slide and i have downloaded this particular image from the internet cover the slide with this image And go to insert shapes select a rounded corner rectangle and go to format shape and you can use some uh, gradient fill where i have used some dark gray and light gray combination make it no outline go to insert shapes Select the top corners rounded and using the small the bubble you can just adjust the the curve to the top I'm removing the curve increase the size make it no outline and you can give a white color and increase the transparency level make it 50 percent and send this to back now go to insert table select a table i'm going to insert uh, three columns adjust the table within the rectangle and add some more rows you can press the tab key to add the rows and then I'm just going to remove the background of this shading, make it no fill. And you can make it the borders with a white background or the white lines. If it is not visible, just increase the size. Now I'm just going to make this the header as a dark blue color and the center column also a dark blue. And this also you can make the the transparency level to 50%. And you can give the shading for alternate rows and you can press F4 key so that it will repeat. So I'm just giving the one row after another the white color and this one 
the other rose you can make it somewhat light green color press the F4 key to duplicate to repeat the same what you did and select this also and make this also a 50% uh, transparency level then go to home and select all make it center aligned and here also say middle and I'm going to use a font called Oswald or if you don't have this font you can download it or you can use it or some other fonts make it a white color font and then I'm just going to type the team name here here I'll type statistics and this is also team name the opponents and here you can just going to add uh, the statistics like goals and how many times the ball in their positions or whatever you want to enter it you can type it here so whatever the text you want you can type and here you can write like how many goals they did the each team and then go to insert shapes select one more rectangle draw the rectangle here i'm just going to add the main score or the goals and make it no outline go to insert again select the right triangle rotate it make it no outline first rotate to horizontal and align it properly select both the objects and merge it union and you can give some a uh, gradient fill for this and some shadow effect so gradient fill give some different color or you can use uh, maybe a solid fill also press ctrl d to duplicate and bring to the other side and rotate it again press ctrl d this is i'm just going to add uh, on top i'm going to add the flags here You can increase the size and send this to back and then you can add the other side the same thing press ctrl D and rotate it. all right here i'm just going to make duplicate again and reduce the size where i'm just going to insert the the flags of the countries and go to shadow remove the shadow make it solid fill A white color and bring the other side as well
go to insert shapes and select one more rectangle and draw it in the middle of the scorecard and send this also to back and make it no outline this one I'm just going to rotate again to the other side like this and just increase the size you add the text now here like how many goals for example just say it is a zero or one or two whatever the same font I'm going to use the Oswald center align make it wide and make it somewhat big size and again press ctrl D add to the other side And here I'm just going to add the flags for that select picture file. I have downloaded some images from the internet like Germany flag. I'll just add the flag there and this side I'm going to insert the flag of Brazil. So the two flags has been added there. and the text also I'm just going to add the text here called the information increase the size of the rectangle and then reduce the font size So I'm just going to add some more pictures here which I've downloaded from the internet. Select the picture and I have downloaded this PNG file which is this one light PNG and you can see this file just rotate it. and put on the top of the, the floodlights. Press Ctrl D to make one more and bring to the other side. And I'm going to give some animation for this. Select the light and give the animation which is I'll say blink blink which is under emphasis and blink say timings say uh, medium and repeat until end of the slide and copy the animation painter to the other side so that and save with previous now let's see how it looks slideshow and when I click see the light started blinking so likewise you can create for the cricket as well which I have downloaded which is already there in the slide. You can download this for free. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.